I'm back. Ignore all my boyfriend's sports stuff in the back, but now I don't have to say. Sorry, I know I look horrible. I don't have any makeup on. Um, I have all my face makeup on now. You've seen face makeup. You've seen eyebrows. You've seen all that. I am going to go ahead and put some chapstick on so that when I apply lip product, they're already moisturized. And this is the Alba Pineapple Quench Lip Balm. And I like that. So, we are going to use the NYX Butt Naked Palette that I showed you last time. And the Alme for brown eyes. I don't have brown eyes, green eyes, whatever, but this doohickey doohickey. So we're going to just apply some of that for that shadow to stick to. Kind of make the color more vibrant. I like natural colors because then I can wear a wild lip color and not really feel overdone for work. So you see ridiculous amount of brushes so what do I want what do I want I know you didn't tune in to listen to me sing tough I'm just like flipping this thing around to find a brush make sure it's cleaned off of all other colors what do I want to do today let's do something smoky so I'm gonna start with this gray here where did I start? This is like a brownish gray. And I'm going to start packing that on the lid. Actually, I might take it up a little higher than that. Nothing too uh, glittery, glitzy, or shimmery in this. Again, it's called Butt Naked, so what are you going to do? I guess I should have done one eye first and then um, started the tutorial, but I guess maybe we'll have time. I'm not going to be doing any heavy eyeliner or anything like that. Um, I may not even do any eyeliner just for the sake of the time in the video and that it's late. I've already taken my medicine. I'm sleepy. Um, I work 44 hours a week, so I never have time to play with my makeup. And I know, I assume like I'm packing a lot of this on, but it's not really that pigmented. I haven't done anything smoky in a while. This may not be something I would normally wear to work, but I'm pretty bold. I feel like if stuff is blended right, and it's not like neon, you can work with it. Uh, by the way, that was an e.l.f. I think, bra no, yeah, e.l.f. mineral brush. And then this one is an Eco Tools brush, crease brush. Let's see, what do we think we want to use? Um, this is a really pretty charcoal-y, metallic-y color here, so blow it off and we'll start at the crease here. We might get crazy and smoke this out really pretty, but I'm not liking this the way it looks on, though. I talk a lot. I'm sorry. Just glad you're tuning in. Gambino is what's distracting me, the dog you saw earlier. You know, you're going to have to go back and blend some more. That's the ancient rule here. Do not look like a tramp or Mimi, what's her name? Bob check, Bob check. You must always blend. I'm gonna go back in with that lid color. And I feel like they're too similar, so I'm gonna get um, like this shimmery white up here and just kind of highlight the middle of the lid and make sure that's blended, you know, because that's gonna make it just a little lighter down here. I want it a little darker in my outer corner. So let me take a blending brush and go with this um, matte black here. <sighs> Always blow off your matte black. Make sure we don't have like a weird line. Then we're going to start at the outer part of the crease and just work it in there. Not too far. So you see it darkens it up. But once we get the blending brush in there, <sighs> it could be work wearable. You know, if you, uh, even if you did this and let the shadow darken it, without loading on a ton of like waterline liner or anything like he's so grouchy today do you hear him because he wants to eat and he's mad but he doesn't eat until 10 30 10 30 in the morning 10 30 at night he's overweight sorry no so elf blending brush gonna go in and because i know this looks weird right now just blend that out so it's a little smoky it's a little more dramatic than what would be an everyday neutral, but they're still neutral colors. Maybe if you added, a c my vanity's shaking because he's headbutting it. Um, maybe if you added like a colored liner, that would be really pretty. 
like maybe just on the lower lash line or it would even be really cool with like a um, I don't know not neon blue but a shimmery blue liner on the top line we may have time for that who knows um I'm happy where that is gonna go back one more time with that lid color there and make sure I'm not losing it just slightly now we only used one shimmery color so excuse me I have the hiccups I'm gonna go ahead and take this shimmery white here and hit my brow bone I like more right there where the brow bone actually lifts up higher and then I use that color to just drag down into here because everyone knows darker goes on the outside lighter on the in I can get enough there next time for the time's sake I'll just do an eye first and then come back in and show you how I did it just because you have all your colors on doesn't mean you shouldn't blend so this big fluffy equal tools brush is what's going to do that for me I could go to work wearing this I could also go out shopping or something wearing this and not feel like it was too much uh, you can leave the lower lashes um, alone you don't have to drag that dark color down but that's what it looks like so this is even neutral enough that I would be okay with wearing like a semi pigmented lipstick so let's see what we got perfect NYX round lipstick T Rose you can see I really like this lipstick it's way not as pink as that and I like forever Kaylin but man she wears a lot of lipstick so as you can see I don't feel the need to put on that much. And I'm weird with blending and defining, so I go back in with my little brush, make sure my lips look nice and defined and cleaned up. Go back around my nose and then sweep under the eyes. Or you can use a fan brush if you had any fallout. The NYX eyeshadow is pretty powdery, but it's not that powdery. So, you could stop here. Uh, you could take that black or that dark charcoal and smudge it under the lower lash line. You could do your water line and your tight line and then even, you know, line your upper lid and maybe you could skip all that and do a colored liner. Um, obviously curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara, but that's it. Um, you can see my hair is growing back. I don't know if you've noticed, but in my videos it's been pretty short. I haven't made one in a while, I'm sorry. It's a mess right now, but it is growing back. My boyfriend likes it long, so hope it doesn't look too bad, but my hair's curling crazy. I look like an idiot. But that's the makeup. So, hopefully there's people out there watching this who have bad skin as well. 26 years old, still dealing with it. I'm like the most... I will not sleep with my makeup on. I clean my brushes. I clean my washcloth. I tried all these soaps and everything. To be honest with you, it's just uh, something I have to deal with. And I put my hair up and it looks even stupider. It's just something I have to deal with, so... I try to make do, so just ignore the texture. I think the eyes look pretty. I think as far as coverage goes, I got pretty good coverage out of that color and pigmentation wise. If you're worse off than me, you could start in with I think every girl has a green. Mine looks gross, do not judge me, but it melted and uh, it's physician formula, so I didn't want to, oh I'm sorry, no it's NYC, I don't know why I didn't throw away then. You could go through and cover all your really pigmented red spots with that kind of stuff. You could then set your makeup with, I've got a, um, Everyday Minerals Face Powder in Sunlight Finishing Dust. It's like a yellow, which is also a color corrector for, like, dark purple and reds. So, you could do what you wanted with the eye. If I was going to work, I might just leave it like this with, a uh, mascara. If not, I would add some top liner, and if I was going out at night, I would maybe just add top liner uh, on my upper lid, and then my waterline and tight line, so. <sighs> what else? I'm sad, because my $12 foundation is gone, but I have a backup, and I know this is gross, but I don't, I've used it once, and I hated the sponge, so. Try this, 1250 Ulta. I'll see you guys later.